Well, it's been a couple of days. Let's see what the mud looks like. That is ridiculous beyond belief. Yep. Sea salt gets an F. I don't know what else to say. I'm afraid even to set the thing down. <laughs> Let me get a paper towel. Gadzooks. Well, let's see what's down here in the in the goop. Well, I'm not finding lumpies, but goodness. It looks like just burnt gravy. And it really didn't settle either. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely sea salt with uh, calcium silicate in it. It gets an F in my book. Well, here's where we find out whether a CLR actually will do what it's supposed to. I don't see any bubble in there. Whoops, I see bubbles, but I don't know what that means yet. Well, I see goop coming off, so I guess it'll work. So far, CLR's batting a thousand with the particulates and cleaning up stuff. I just need to see how this one turns out after it sits a while. This is by far the worst shape I've seen the uh, plates in after a test. Well, I aborted the uh, cleaning of these plates in CLR after I pulled it out to inspect it and discovered something. I'm going to have to uh, zoom in so you can get a better look, but uh, one plate from testing with sea salt and it's apparently eaten. So let's zoom in here and take a look. That seems to be as far as I can get, but can you see that? See how rough that edge is compared to the other one? I think the positive electrode is corroded away with using sea salt. See, it's on every edge. Another reason not to use sea salt. <laughs> pretty amazing. This is a side-by-side -side comparison the two electrodes I used in the sea salt electrolysis experiment. This is the first documented evidence that using an electrolyte will cause one of the plates to corrode, especially in only an hour and 45 minutes. There's petting all on the inside here. I don't know if it can be seen. I'm going to try to zoom in. That's 4X. The edges are pitted. Look at that. All the way around and the facing the side of the plate that was facing the other electrode pitted all the way. There's where the nylon washer was.
The rest of this is pitting. I actually scrubbed it with a brass bristle brush here. Yeah, I need to back out a little bit, but scrubbed it with a brass brush and water to get the deposits off. And there's what I got. Corrosion. I'm thinking a 24 hour test and this electrode will be gone. It's amazing. There's the other electrode. No apparent damage anywhere. And this is after attempting to clean it with CLR. Pretty bad. That plate's going in the trash. <laughs> I'd also like to note that uh, my temperature probe, also stainless steel, supposedly not an active participant, was an active participant in the salt water and, or excuse me, the sea salt and calcium silicate test. Uh, there's pitting in several places on the probe. Now I knew that the, the probe does generate bubbles just from being in proximity to plates, but uh, I didn't realize it would do this. Very interesting. <laughs>